Hey, what is up you guys? It is Sam here, and today you are watching a tutorial on how to motion track in After Effects with Mocha. Here we go. So the first thing you need to do is you need to open up After Effects right here. We're just going to let that open. Okay, the next thing you want to do is you want to import your clips. To do this, you can do you can do file, import files, or you can drag them in. Um, so we are actually just going to drag them in. Let's drag in our two clips. Now you can obviously see that the special effects clip is fire. This is the object we are going to track. And the other clip right here is just me with my hand out and that is where we will put the fire. So let's drag in our fire hand or whatever you would like to call it and as you can see it rendered beautifully which is great and then let's drag in our fire now first thing you notice uh, you can do command plus to zoom in um, our fire looks a little unnatural and it is huge so to fix the uh, big factor and make it a little bit smaller click on the corner and then click shift and then resize just like that and then use the rotation tool go to the inside and just rotate it a bit. Now there's also another problem. Um, it, Like I said before, it doesn't look very real. So go on mode right here on the fire clip, go to normal and click add and now it looks a little bit more normal which is pretty awesome. Alright, so now what we need to do is, um, as you can see when we play the clip, um, as my hand moves, uh, the fire moves with the camera rather than my hand. This needs to be fixed. So to do this, we will use something called Mocha for After Effects. Now, I would like to point one thing out. Several people do not even know they own this. Mocha comes with every single copy of After Effects. So for everybody that um, has no idea, you own it. So let's just um, open it up. Let's click Start. And now what we are going to do is we are going to go up to here and click Create a New Project. And then we are going to click choose and then we are going to go to desktop and craft movie and that's going to be the file we want to track and now over here as you can see um, we want to select our crop movie for this we need to match these settings up with these settings to make sure that they are correct otherwise the tracking will look really really terrible um, and the settings are indeed correct as you can see 29.97 fps and one 0.00 right here it says HD 1280 by 720 is HD and click OK and here is our video so then what we what you want to do is head up to this thing here called the spline layer tool and simply click you don't need to hold and click to select the area you want to track and we're gonna select our pinky or my pinky our pinky it'd be so weird if it was our pinky and then to get rid of this simply right click and now what we are going to do is we are going to track it uh, to track it you want to press this right here which tracks it forwards or if you really want to get professional and you want to track each and every frame just so you can get it right you can do that as well um, but actually we're going to make some adjustments on this it needs to be a little bit um, actually it was fine the way it was alright we are good never mind okay let's start tracking just going to let it track alright you guys I'm going to let it track and I will get back to you after it is done alright everybody so our tracking is done let me show you what happened so as you can see it tracked it pretty well as you can see there has been some movement here with the um with this point but other than that it looks really good alright so the next thing you want to do is you want to go to file export tracking data and out of all these formats select this one it says after effects transform data anchor point position scale and rotation copy that to clipboard and then in after effects you're going to want to go to layer select this here layer new no object and then you want to do command V in the null object and then what you want to do is under the null object go to null transform 
And you see how several of these are selected? Press Command, go on each of the names, and deselect all of them. Then go to Anchor Point and click on the stopwatch. Now, what you just did there just did many things that you will be happy about. I don't quite know. And then, under these parenting tools right here, go to the fire clip and parent with the, your null object. And your fire is being tracked, as you can see, which is uh, pretty darn cool, in my opinion. I mean, look at that. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that is your object right there being tracked. And there it is again. Another great preview of it. All right, you guys, hope this, is, hope this tutorial helped. Now, you don't need to do this with fire. You can do this with a still image or with fire if you pretend you want to play with fire. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I am Sam, signing off. This is Mad Dog the Robot on YouTube.